What's up everyone? This is uh, Juggalo News. Um, video you're watching is a very quick put together drive through and a little bit of a walk through of Lost Lakes Amphitheater in Oklahoma City on April 9th of 2017. I'll put this video up probably April 11th, 2017. If you're listening to it around you know, this time, you probably have some questions, concerns, comments. You can post all that in the comments section. I'll try and answer them best I can. Just really, uh, first and foremost, want to say that the uh, site is currently under um, major development. Uh, so it looks like it's under construction because it is. Um, that's the most comments I've seen so far in regards to, you know, how it looks on Google Maps or anybody else who's got videos up or whatever. So... I'll get into the story of Lost Lakes a little bit. Um, what I've been able to find out in my research, uh, there should have already popped up in the video a mock-up design of the overall grounds, and uh, you know some more of that stuff will pop up. We do have quite a bit of information on JuggaloNews.net. If you want to head over there after the video, um, covers you know nearest gas station, nearest Walmart, the hotels, um, pictures I took. Pictures other people have taken, videos from some of the EDM festivals they've had there before. Uh, really, this is just a quick put together video. Um, a couple days before the gathering of the Juggalos gets announced, that uh, it will be hosted by Lost Lakes Amphitheater. Um, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of people checking it out and looking into it are, are majorly concerned because it does look like a, a major construction zone. So I wasn't really sure how to proceed. Um, I was in the area doing a couple other things um, when I when I decided to drive through and walk through a little bit. Um, it was open April 9th on Sunday. Uh, there was some people wakeboarding a little bit, and uh, there was construction workers in, or the uh, construction workers there on Sunday. So I mean, they are putting in the work to get it done. You know, entering it, you know, I really had no idea what to expect um, you know it's really hard to picture the gathering anywhere until it's actually set up and you see how how things are uh, as with any music festival especially on a new year at a new venue at a venue that doesn't have a ton of experience with a camping music festival um, if I probably did it backwards the video ends with me going over to where the parking lot is supposed to be um, currently there's nothing there it's blocked off it is across a uh, high-speed highway, so you know that you know there's some logistics stuff you know that pops to mind. Um, I'm sure that'll all come to light as we get closer to the gathering, and a map is released and details and you know from the mock-ups I've seen, if they're done with this uh, by the time the gathering rolls around, as far as what their plans are for their 30,000-person camping music festival gonna be badass I mean this place has an insane water slide um, the whole wake zone stuff going on with uh, boarding and doing tricks and getting pulled along um, I mean, it's, it's a ton of ground it's a big place so Lost Lakes was originally I believe about a 200 acre privately owned property uh, that got into the wakeboarding stuff Years back, the owner took on a few partners, it looks like, and they were able to lease an additional 800 or so acres of adjoining land uh, right there on the river basin. Right off the bat, they planned on opening it up for festivals and other stuff. Now, the first thing they did was they built a huge, insane water slide, and uh, we've got some videos on JuggaloNews.net of people going down it. Um, they also hosted Mark Cuban's Rugged Run and some smaller uh, EDM festivals like uh, Foam Wonderland. Um, so now they're in the process of setting it up for the bigger stuff, like the gathering. Uh, as you can see from the video, we're quite a ways away today from how the mock-up designs have it looking. So, you know, the roads aren't done. They're still grading where main stage is going to go. Um, they're still doing all kinds of stuff, building the roads. Uh, obviously, like the parking lot I said wasn't set up. The RV area is not set up. There's a lot of cleanup, ground grading, you know, building, all kinds of stuff going on there. So, you 
know, to see pictures from me walking around and uh, other festivals and stuff, be sure to check JuggaloNews.net. You know, the permanent RV area that they have mocked up looks nice. The parking lot looks big that they have mocked up. From walking around, there's multiple dense forest areas with trails uh, that would be great for tent camping. They've got trails through them that are big enough for a golf cart or a quad. Um, there's a ton of space out in the open, um, you know, for stages or event tents or camping or, you know, a big ball of sight if, if we're not going to be back where they currently have planned the RV area open. Um, you know, the mock-up show, uh, horse trails, and BMX course, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not sure, and I doubt that all 1,000 acres will be open for the gathering of the Juggalos. Um, but it's huge. There's there's plenty of room there for us to have a great festival. Uh, we did go down and scope out, you know, the nearest gas station, McDonald's, Family Dollar, and Discount tobacco store which are all up the road a little ways um, it's outside of walking distance I would say since we're only two and a half miles outside of downtown Oklahoma City I'm sure an uber or a cab or even taking your own car or carpooling with a couple buddies down to those places or the nearest Walmart or whatever is gonna be easier than say hog rock Oh, we checked out the nearest hotels. They all seem nice. Walking through the woods, I did notice a large amount of ants, uh, ant hills. Um, not sure what type of ants. They did look red. That may be concerning for some. Um, I spent about four hours out day on the 8th, or four hours outside on the 8th, and I got some sunburnt pretty good, and that's in April. I typically go the whole gathering, whether it was, you know, Legend Valley, Hog Rock, or wherever, without too much of an issue. So I would say if you're pale or have issues with getting burnt, uh, it's going to be an issue in July. Um, probably be bug spray as well. Good boots. Uh, it is pretty rough terrain currently. That may change. Uh, the mock-up show some paved roads and some pretty good pathways. But I would say uh, better safe than sorry. So really in closing, judging from the design mock-ups, this place should be fucking awesome. Um, you know, it, it's hard to, to pick out some concerns, really, from all the benefits looking at the mock-ups, but, uh, you know, I guess the big concern would be how much are they going to get done with this place by the time we're slotted to be there? Um, what all is going to be open to us? I, you know, I would think the water slide would be, it would be silly for it not to be. Um, the wakeboarding stuff, if that's going to be open or not. Know, what you know wooded areas are going to be open how are things going to be set up you know just general concerns with any new area um, the parking lot as well as staging of cars going into the venue you know how all that's going to go to me currently looks like a logistic nightmare but I'm sure that's already all figured out by uh, somebody um, you know electric water setup for RVs are those permanent spots going to be done in time or are we going to bring in generators like we did at Legend Valley no, hard to say. Uh, of course, you know, the issues being inside a major U.S. city as opposed to out in the country, you know, any any issues that may bring, you know, and from the way it looked, the uh, partnership leases most of that land from what looked like a government entity of some kind. So, you know, I, I would say, you know, be smart. Research where you're going. Um, you know, anytime I go to a new state, I look up, you know, laws on driving, you know, if I plan on drinking alcohol, you know, look up, you know, what, what you're going to be involved in or think you're going to be involved in or want to be involved in and, 
know what's going on. Uh, so you can uh, be safe, stay smart, don't get in trouble. You know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have quite a bit of that stuff up on JuggaloNews.net, or should, when this video goes up, that there will be a page with some info going up. It's going to have videos um, from other festivals, pics, pictures I took while walking around, hotel information, uh, local food information, um, marijuana laws, alcohol laws, all that stuff. Um, you know, it looks like they're slotted to be done end of May with a festival grounds that they plan should host 30,000 people. Um, the slide is 180 feet in length. Uh, looks like three angles when I was there. Um, one should launch you about 30 feet in the air before you hit the water. Um, but of course, you know, during this video, obviously, and uh, some other places online, it looks, you know, like it's a big dust bowl or mud hole or that's because it's under construction. They're sinking about six million dollars, I think I read, into uh, funding this redevelopment. You know, this is going to be probably a premier national venue for places. So hopefully things go good. comprise all the information I can and get it up on JuggaloNews.net for you guys.